So chapter 4, verse 24 in Genesis gives us the perfect biblical understanding of these judgment periods. And it relays that these judgment periods are related with vengeance. Just as I told you that this vengeance, anger, and wrath is not coming from our Father and that these judgment periods are not being carried out by Him. And you can see it plainly in verse 24. And it's going to time up. And this is where I got the timing. I, I understood and was able to code what this 70-fold was all about in verse 24. And it's in relationship to this Cain being avenged at these 70-fold periods. Well, these 70-fold periods just so happen to time up as world ages. The very same world ages that I'm showing you fit within the Mayan world age time clock. The question is, is why is Cain being avenged? It's, it's proving what I'm telling you. The Bible is giving you the information. It's supporting me. Cain shouldn't be being avenged from our viewpoint because Cain is the murderer. Why is Cain being avenged? Okay? And if we want to understand what this avenged means and get the fullness of it, let's look at it right here. I look up avenged and it brought me here to verse 4. Revenge. Avenge. Have one's revenge. Take revenge. Wreak one's vengeance or anger. All right, so we find out that Cain, the descendants of Cain, are going to have their vengeance. They're going to wreak their anger. As I told you, this anger is not coming from our Father. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ in all perfection for the spirit of truth. I'm so humbled and overwhelmed at the depth and the understanding that I'm allowed to have during all this. Thank you. That's all I can say. I'm blown away. So if Cain shall be avenged at the 70-fold cycle, well, what is the 70-fold cycle? What's the key here? Well, the key is this. And I'm not going to go into the full detail because it's already up on that other video series about the starting date for the Garden of Eden. The key is, is to find out what this 70-fold is and what the timing is. Well, the key was 72. It's procession. That great cycle of the great year, which is going to be the processional world age clock. And that's going to be what we have also the same thing that you're seeing right here. So the key was to understand how to figure out this time clock, this early Genesis prophecy of judgment that the sons of Cain are going to be allowed to enact on the earth. And like I said, 72 is the key. 72 times 70 equals 5,040 years, which fits perfectly within the Mayan 5,125. Now, there's a reason why these don't match up perfectly. It's because the Mayan world age clock gives us the appropriate understanding of 13 periods, which are going to break down to the 13th constellations. Well, you see that the Hebrew Bible tries to hide the 13th constellation and only give you the understanding of the 12 tribes of Israel. But as I said, the addition from Ephraim and Manasseh created 14 to the original 12 tribes. When you deduct Dan from the increment of the tribes, because Dan is going to be the judge, you end up with 13 periods. So Dan returns at the end of the 13th period or the end of the 13th Bakhtun. The Bible is telling you there are 13 periods. There are 13 separate periods of judgment. As I'm giving you, the Bible is showing you two of those now. And then, of course, Genesis is going to record one of those judgments. And then it records the main judgment, which takes place over a 36,000 year roughly increment. And that's going to have to do with what we see here as it concerns this understanding of Lamech. So if Cain shall be avenged 70-fold, well, this is telling you that the 70-fold vengeance of Cain is going to take place 